So it's without even going into the, what they told us was Russian disinformation is actually true. How concerned are you that Torian Newland, who's overseeing this war, has just admitted there are unsecure bio agents, dangerous bio agents in Ukraine? I'm extremely concerned, as should be every American and everyone in the world. Uh, the seriousness of this situation really can't be overstated. First of all, she didn't say no when she was asked yeah. by Marco Rubio about there being biological or chemical weapons in Ukraine. So uh, if, if there were or are, obviously that would be a, a violation of the Biological Weapons Convention. Uh, number two, she they're, they're categorically been trying to hide this, as you've laid out very, very well. And then once they were found out, rather than saying, hey, you know what, this is a, a critical an emergency, it's a crisis, we have these pathogens in the midst of a war zone, yes. not just in one location, but between 20 and 30 labs in Ukraine. We've, this is a global crisis. We're going to take action immediately. This is how a responsible leader would react given the crisis of this moment. But instead, what did they do? Her response to, to Senator Rubio was immediately start pointing fingers. We're going to preemptively start the blame game should anything exactly. happen to these pathogens and, and who knows what is going on in these labs before anything bad happens, just say, you know what, it's the bad guys. It's the bad guys who are responsible for this. It's, I, it is the height of irresponsibility, their response to this, the fact that they're covering it up, the fact that they aren't doing really what needs to be done. Because if, unless this war in Ukraine ends right now, ends tonight, we face a, a very real certainty that one or more of these labs will be compromised, will be breached, and it won't just be the people of Ukraine who are impacted. We could face another cri global crisis when you look at a pathogen that could be released. We just went through this with COVID. Uh, we can't have forgotten this already. And once again, Agencies in the U.S. government, without our knowledge, are secretly funding research that, you know, imperils the world, and no one is ever punished for it.